it's me again Tyro. Well, welcome to my channel so I did a twist um, the other day I think about four days ago and um, I was just about unraveling the twists and I thought you know what let me just come to you guys to show you how I unravel my twist so before twisting my hair I used my leave-in conditioner this is actually something new that I just made I'll probably make a video to show you guys how I mix it together and then after that you know using my lock method i use um my oil and then with my, with my twist i use this um this can to um coconut curling cream and my and my shea butter mix okay it's nearly finished i need to make another one this thing is very very popular in my house it's amazing um you know you want to go to bed with your satin scarf and that is what i have on right now so take this off I like to just kind of twist it around each other and then just put it in a knot. So before unraveling, this twist was done I think about four days ago. So I just kind of spray it from afar and that's it, okay? Just to get things started and to kind of refresh the um, my hair. You don't want to spray it too much, okay, because it's going to shrink. So and then I just apply some of my oil mix on my um, fingertips okay I do that to avoid freeze and then okay you want to start from the end of your twist just gonna twist it the other way and open it up okay and then you can walk your way up gently and unravel so that's the first one <laughs> And everything is unraveled now and I absolutely love how soft I wish you guys can feel how soft my hair is right now and then what I do from here is just um kind of separating my hair really from here so look at that look at how beautiful look at how beautiful that is look at how beautiful that is pull it up Okay, so this is my hair all unraveled. So basically now you just want to play with what you have really and I Absolutely love 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 what I'm looking like right now. This is one that I need to separate Separate it. There go. So I like my hair to be like medium big like from here. I can do any style do like half part where I just Push most of it to the side or I can do a little fringe and then the rest to the back and then I would use bobby pin to kind of like hold some down so from here this is actually not compulsory okay if you are going through hair loss you don't want to do this part because I've been through hair loss before and I really I had to stop doing this part so then this is basically just but it is pretty much lifted and it looks like it's got volume but just if you if you need more volume you can just this side is not compulsory, okay, if you have very sensitive hair, but you can just lift it up a little bit and I'm doing it very, very, very gently, very gently. So you just put it under your, you put it in your root and then you just lift your hair up a little bit and this just gives it a little bit of volume, gives it a little bit of volume. If you're doing this and you're hearing your hair snap, you want to stop. Okay, you want to stop this <laughs> it's not compulsory like I said you know this is something that I had to stop doing when I was going through hair loss and then from here let's see what we can do with this so I just fluff it out Can you guys see how beautiful this is? Can you guys see how beautiful this is? You know when I'm doing my hair, okay, I'm not like always after defined 
hair, like defined curls and things like that. I like my hair to be a little bit stretched. Even though I like the stretch, I still like the shrink head to be honest because the shrink head gives me volume, if you understand what I mean. So, I just... Guys, can you see that length? <laughs> yes! So I can say I've been like two years natural, I think. I can say this is a two years air growth. So this is basically like where I stop and uh, like from here you can just feel free to do whatever you know you can use bobby pin so I like I'll leave this part because I like that definition I like the definition that I'm getting around here so I'm not going to do anything to that so I'm just going to leave that like that and one thing I love about shrinkage as well is that like it doesn't have to look perfect like perfect perfect you can you can work with whatever you have and you know you just it will just look really really bomb and, and cute and you know yeah I absolutely love what it looks like like another thing is if you have someone that doesn't really like like this back like these um this side you can always use bobby pin to kind of hold it back sometimes i use bobby pin and sometimes i leave it to kind of flow to flow like that just the way it is so. this is it basically this is my twist out and I absolutely love it so much so this is the front view okay this is my side view this is what my side is looking like yeah I hope you guys can see that and this is my back view yes I hope this video makes a lot of sense and I hope you like this video don't forget to please 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 like this video because the more you like the more view I get and then don't forget to also leave any comment down below if you've got any question or if you feel like you know letting me know anything so yeah i think that's everything for now thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys